I always joke with my students that like if you were to slice open my veins, it would oil paint would just come oozing out. Um, I have a very uh, visceral and um, physical response to paint. The smell of it is exciting to me. The touch, the texture of it, that, you know, everything about it. My works are they have a conceptual start, but I am at heart a formalist. I am driven by composition, I'm driven by um, organization, I'm dri driven by structure and asymmetry and balance and all of those formal characteristics. This particular series is part of my glacial exploration and these are three paintings based on the movement of an iceberg um, that broke off from a, an ice shelf in Antarctica called Larsen Sea. And um, what interested me about this was um, it, it, when it broke away, it's, um, it's larger than Manhattan. It's this massive iceberg and um, it started to kind of float away from the ice shelf and nobody really paid much attention to it except for its size and its scale and oh, the largest iceberg to break off, you know, and what does this mean? And the idea of like forecasting where it could go and taking that and moving it into an abstract language. So I would do this series of paintings you know, in my mind, they're 20 paintings, <laughs> but, you know, in reality, they're three paintings um, that kind of illustrate from the, the initial breaking off point of the ice shelf to, the, to it breaking up into these small little fragments of ice and to show that journey of this one particular iceberg as it floated away and then eventually just melted into the ocean and, you know, nobody remembers it. It's gone now, um, but its mass has definitely affected the sea level, so it's still there, right? I'm very interested in that, in that idea, so. The space is beautiful. It's, it's exactly what a gallery should be. It's very exciting to be in the space and I'm very grateful and very honored to be included in, these, in this group of people.